Hello guys, it is the moment of truth today, because today we are going to reach the Dyatlov Pass. We have slept in this small house, it is called the Ilich base, and we are moving at dawn. That is our Uaz and the banner over there. We have got some troubles with the snowmobile. We should have repaired it one hour ago, but it's been three hours now. Well, the snowmobile is broken, its truck is damaged, and we have to walk to the pass, like hardcore. Where should we go? Is there only one road? Behind the tree you will see the road. Right here. Yeah. You will see the rod. Bless us, O oh Lord. Let's go. Let's move, guys. Get out! That is going to be hard, isn't it? <laughs> Off we go now. The plan goes like this. We are going for a reckon, while others are repairing the snowmobile. And we are walking. We only hope we will not meet a moose or a bear, because we don't have anything to fight them. I hope we are gonna see a real bear. Go to hell! That's it, it's the road to the Dyatlov Pass. It is 25 kilometers from this base. This is going to be the hardest part of the road. Yeah, we should set a point in the navigator, just in case. Here or there? Give some light over there. Let's read. Lyosha had a breakage here once. Oh, there's a swear word here. You have to go to the main road. What do you mean? One road goes to the forest, and another goes in the right. There will be a river crossing in two kilometers. Don't go there, only forward. So we should walk straight. The biggest trouble here is that we have lost the snowmobile. It is broken. Yeah, Unti is repairing the track. And he said there is a big trouble. They can't get out one of bearings. It is stuck. And they can't set a new track here because of it. Unti even hurt his finger. There is a small chance that they will not come for us. And we will have to climb 25 kilometers on foot. Right to the Dyatlov Pass. Like this. And we will also have to go back. That's cool, really? Vadim likes that because we have just started. Let's see what he's gonna say in 10 kilometers. I gonna say that's cool. There are tracks here, and they aren't fresh. That's cool. Do you trust Mansi? They're the locals here. Aren't you afraid they're gonna kill us? Because some people think they had killed Dyatlov group. That wasn't Untia for sure. Do you think he's okay? He wasn't even born those times. Maybe that was a kind of ritual. Mansi cut their tongues and eyes. Maybe that was a conflict. But why their eyes were cut out? That is not true. Actually, Dyatlov group didn't have eyes. Yeah. And their tongues were torn off. No way! Just google it, dude. You're joking. Did Dima Maslinikov told you that? We have walked one and a half kilometers and now going left. Got it? We're going to finish soon. The Buran is almost finished. Got it? We're going forward. Can Buran go there? Is the road okay? The road is nice and there are no rocks. Plenty of snow, we can go. Okay, speed up. Go farther. Why is he rushing us? Come on, go faster. Or we're gonna wait on Dyatlov Pass. Wait, why are you so delighted? Aren't you gathering our things already? To get there faster than us? Are you gonna mock us? The right way is for snowmobiles and cars only. And the left one is an easy way for newcomers. For walking. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, got it. We're going. Over. Goodbye. Sergey, do you feel here anything misty? I feel funky. Really? Yeah, because of wild animals. It's the first river crossing. Let's go, Vadim. Check it out. I wanna go first. They will go here by snowmobile. Not really. Oh my, it's cracking so easily. It's deeper here. Go very slowly here. Alex, don't come closer. Maybe we should crawl, guys? Maybe, and that would be safer, actually. Roger. Ice is weak, but double air. It stands us. Oh my gosh. Go farther. Bro, don't come closer. I'm crawling. Vadim has lesser chances to fall through the ice, Anton. There is some water under you, Vadim. Oh my, Vadim, you have peed. This dumbass is crawling. Don't be like a child. Just let me reckon and you can go then. Little by little. Careful. Let's go faster. Oh wait, there is something worse up ahead. Let's bypass that. No, I'm too lazy. It must be firm. Where should we go now? Go here. On this river? This ain't a river, it's a road. We could go here and you us. Yeah, to this point. But no further. A snowmobile would go here easily. Yeah. Let's summon a wolf to film it. Everything was okay until Vadim started summoning the female wolf. It is our last video. Hey Vadim, calm down. What if you really attract some wild animals here? We don't need it at all. Calm down. Come on. I have never seen a wild wolf. Go to hell, Vadim. 
That is for YouTube. I'm gonna hug a wolf. That's crazy. But Dim is going crazy. Right if you think that's a good idea to summon a wolf in the wilds. Let's find their spawn. What if many wolves will appear here? Don't fuss. Sergey can run fast. Let's go, guys. I'm gonna fall. You can do it. Here I go. Break it. Don't sit in the... Yeah. That is too easy. Vadim, show us some parkour. Wow, what a parkour. Poor guy. Are you okay, Anton? I have hurt my back badly. Oh my gosh, I have lost my camera. Bro, are you okay? Don't film that, we shouldn't show it. Wait, he feels really bad. Well... Stand up, bro. Wait, you have stepped on the camera. Oh, sorry, I thought you got it. Are you okay, Anton? Is it working still? I think it's okay. Let's check it. I think we are going the wrong way. What is that? Skatabaza? What? That looks familiar. Sergey, do you know what this design looks like? Yeah, I've seen it. What do you mean? This font is similar to what I saw in Sergey's bookmarks. Really? Yeah. Do you mean Facebook? <laughs> yeah, that is a modern Facebook for the young. They do many contacts there. Everyone. We have walked 5 kilometers. And there, we've got a house up ahead. As I see, this route is well prepared. There's a leech base and so on. Yeah, and this house. We can warm up here if we freeze. In the Euro forest. Oh my gosh. How is it called? A16. That sounds like a military building. Maybe it's just the coordinates. I know what is this house. And what? That is Yegor of Attorneys. Are you joking? For real? Is it really here? He was filming here long ago. And it is ruined already. Let us open this dwarf door. Only Sergei can open it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We just don't see this door, bro. Oh my gosh, I almost punched my eye with this small nail. Oh my gosh. What a surprise. Oh, that is a Finnish candle. Look at it. He cut them and lit up. Yeah. Let's go in. Wow, it's so cool here. We should have rest. That is obvious. There's even a bed here. And someone littered it. There are even some rocks here. Maybe they had a sauna here. A place to sleep. We can sit here and have some dinner. There are some nice matches here. Pity, someone has broken this kerosene lamp. Such a pity. We have decided to try to communicate with our guides. Connection check. Are you there? Let's make a self-made antenna. Oh, it's not empty. Can you reach them? No, we're too far from them. This walkie-talkies is for 5 kilometers. We have to go on. Because we're gonna lose our spirit if we stay here and freeze more. It is called Izba and Kedrovnik. We have found its name. There's no radiation here. It's all clean. The better background is just 8, and that's really little. The snow blocks it. These pines are scary, aren't they? Yeah, they're creepy, like dried. Yeah, dried. And the branches like... Maybe they are ill? I'm getting nervous. The guys don't reach us. Yeah, that's bad. And we don't have tough clothes. Yeah, right. We can go there ourselves. Let's make the most primitive antenna. Take one empty Red Bull bottle, set it on your walkie-talkie, with an angle, and turn it on. Roger, Roger, connection check. Roger, we have walked 6 kilometers. Hello, no connection still, but I can hear something. What if they are hunters, aren't they? And that Mansi is a hunter as well, right? What if they just let us go forward from the camp? And they are preparing for the hunt now, of their things, gathering their stuff, loading their guns, what if they're gonna chase us now, on the Buran, and we're gonna run in the forest and they will hunt us? That would be fun for them. And they have shovels. And imagine if they're just gonna bury us here. In this case, they will track us anyway. We can't run from them. What if they wait until we go farther, fool around and so on? Maybe they're hearing us, but they just don't respond us. There was some connection, yeah. Check it over there. Roger, come here. Let's climb on the top of pine tree. What? P? Yeah, sure, take it and climb. Hello, guys. Hello.
Pies, cranberry. My blood starts running cold from these thoughts, you know. We cannot even hide any tracks. They experienced. When we were going in Uaz, he had mentioned a bear track from afar. It was two weeks old. How can we hide from them? Using trees. We could climb on them and jump from tree to tree, like monkeys, you know. Do you mean that? Yeah. What else can we do to hide our tracks? If you try to wipe them, they will see that they experienced. Roger, Roger! Maybe I was giving this vest in purpose as well, you know? What if it has a GPS tracker? My vest. I can check it, and they know where we are using this tracker. And there's another theory. They hunters, aren't they? So? And they hunt bears for sure. What if we are the bait? To lure a bear? Exactly. And that is why we were sent alone. They track us and follow. And when they're gonna see a bear, they will shoot them. And that's it. An easy hunt, isn't it? What if they are our haters, you know? This place is scary, and I can't stop thinking about this BS. And the weather is nice. Yeah, just perfect for hunting. Yeah, it's perfect. Yes, and you can easily see fresh tracks. Vodim is falling back somehow. That's so hard. Good thing we haven't taken much things with us. Yeah. Walking up the hill is hard. What's up? You know, I wanna eat like I was starving for a week. Do you have any food with you? No. What are you doing, Vadim? What? What's in your bottle? He's losing his mind already. It's a Dutlov Pass effect. It's day, but the sun is hiding behind trees, so we can't see it. It's high noon, guys, 12 am. And it's this dark. Guys, things are bad. We have walked more than 7 kilometers, but our guides can't reach us. Hello, Roger? They just don't answer. That's it. Fancy that. We don't know what to do. They're supposed to get us some food. Vadim is starving. He's ready to eat anything. We have to walk for long. We have walked only one third of the way. We will have to go back after this. Good thing the weather is nice. It's going to be worse near Dyatlov Pass. We don't have warm clothes. Vadim, what are you gonna eat if they don't come here? I'm going to eat a fir tree. Really? Isn't it contagious? How do you like it? Bitter, isn't it? Sweet? Or sour? We could make a tea from it. That would be nice. Can I eat it? Hush. They're going! Oh, that was a roaring moose. They're coming! Silent, hush! It stopped. That was a snowmobile, for sure, yeah. It was like... Hey, hush. He looks so happy. Hush, please. That's it. Hush. It's wind. Hello, guys, are you there? You can keep eating now. They must be in 4 kilometers from us. Call for Untia. Lersha said he's gonna get drunk. Yeah. Give me food! Let's keep going, guys. They will catch up, and we will get warmer. Here they come, two of them. Oh my! Do they have rifles? Let's see. I ready to run, Anton? He has one, really? Yeah, I see a rifle. Oh my gosh. Let's step aside. Oh my gosh. Where is it going? <laughs> they wanna get our food. Go on, go! Can you get me to Dyatlov Pass, please? Yeah, climb in. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Have you seen them, Untia? Some weird strangers were trying to attack us, aren't they? Don't you think so? Yeah. Do you know them? No. Silly bandits. Okay, I feel sorry for them already. I was waiting for you so much. Really? And what do you want? I wanna eat. Really? Yeah. But we don't have any food for you. You're gonna eat there. You're gonna eat on Dyatlov Pass. Hey bro, stop. I'm so hungry. That's for tea. Give me something, please. Vadim is cold hard. I'm not cold. Only my fingers. He's shaking. Thank you. You have saved us. For real. I'm shocked. They got stuck again. Let's give them a hand. What's up? A rock? 
Is it okay? Maybe. Let's lower it. Right here. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Let's give it a push. It's strange, others don't show these difficulties. They show only an easy and nice way. Going to the Dattle Pass. The snowmobile can go itself, it can carry us. So we have to walk. There is a steep slope here, and the guys have troubles with getting it here. And look what we've got there. I think I get this joke. The parking lot of the Red Zaporozhets. I like this route, it has a nice design, it's fun and authentic. Imagine if someone did climb there by Zaporozhets for real, the guy said so. Soon we're gonna see the flatland. Sit, sit, hurry up. I gonna be behind? Yeah. Okay, let's go. A chainsaw, oh my gosh. Put it somewhere. And now the main thing is not to fall. Play with balance, dummies. Control the sleigh, dudes. We're doing it, Anton. Control your position, guys. Don't fall. It is like surfing. It's all up to us, guys. Awesome. Now we are rushing up to the Dyatlov Pass like crazy. Just look how Buran goes. It's crazy. Let's do it quick. Come on, push it. Come on. Go, go. Nice. That is because of you, Vadim. Oh my gosh. We haven't gone that much. Yeah, and we're stuck again. We came across some rocks. Come on, guys. Nice. Go, go. Get in. Don't step on track. Look at this two-stroke engine, guys. It's smoking hot. I smell diesel, boo! Oh my gosh, it's so deep here. Let's use the chainsaw again. Oh my gosh. I'm afraid of it myself. If I were you, I wouldn't give him that. That's hot, guys. It's his first time. Come on, Vadim. Come on, do it! Press on, Vadim. Come on! Cut it! Hey, stop! Vadim, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Let's Tony show how to do it. Come on. Cut it, come on. Stand back. This is no joke. So have you experienced the enormous power? The sound of death? Yeah, it sounds like death. If you use it wrong, you are done. Just press this button. You are like Terminator. Cool, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Put it here, and the log is over there. I've never cut before. This is my first time. I only saw it on YouTube. A strong man. I'm cleaning up. Let's move! We're going well. Go, go. Help, guys. Alex, we have tried everything, but not this. Wow, it's getting snowy. Find the hole. Oh my gosh, that is not fair. Here we go again. Why are you lying, Alex? I'm feeling unwell. Careful with your head. Watch out your head. Get out. I can smell the timing belt. It's gonna burn. Okay, let's cool it down. The snowmobile we were riding has just overturned. That is just a hell of a road, guys. The road to Dyatlov Pass. <laughs> Lusha started cursing the Dyatlov Pass so much. <laughs> Only dummies come here, right? Aren't we dummies? Imagine if Dyatlov team have done this in the middle of nowhere in purpose, so that fools like us come there in future, to make this place in the middle of nowhere famous. Actually, one guy from Dyatlov group said that everyone was gonna know his name, so he has done it. Good job. Yeah. Now we have to sit very closely, in one sleigh, with a chainsaw and bags. We had to leave the second sleigh because 
the rule is too bad. And we can pass it like this, with two sleigh. There's too much of snow and rocks. And we have to go like this, in one bunch. The entire team in one sleigh. There's Losha and Unta. Our guides. Left, left. No, right. Right. Guys, look what beauty is around us. It's nature. On the right. Only now we are going well. The snow is okay now. There is much of it. Look at this rot. Ouch, my eyes hurt from the smoke. We have to balance the sleigh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have lost Vadim. No, Vadim. Ouch, my leg. Careful. Come on. Jump in. Good job. Well done, Vadim. What have you done? What the hell? Hey, save the chainsaw. I will make the rod for us. We have to walk now. We have passed a lot now. Yeah, that was a nice stretch of road. Yeah, you're right. We have even had some rest. How do others get to that of past easily? Well, we have walked 21,580 steps, 17 kilometers. We have lost 930 calories. It is 620 meters above the sea level. Condition close to death. Our condition is well. Look at Sergei. He is lying at a pine. Cool, isn't it? Wow, awesome. Show me. Well, guys, the nature is different here already. These pines are lower here. And the route is very steep. But I can't show it with my camera. Oh, a fire. A fire? I thought we're gonna freeze. Freeze? I'm all sweating and thirsty. Are you joking? Thanks a lot. The fire looks so cool. Awesome. That was hard to go because of hills here. Some red blue mayonnaise? With what? It's a pie. What? I wanted two. Where did you get that? They grow right here. This pie is for the way back. It's gonna be ready when we are back. We make it in purpose. Really? Sure thing. Why do we need it now? We're all sweating. Who's got the mayonnaise? Hey, what if forest fires start like this? There were lots of them recently. And this pine is so close. Isn't it dangerous? The pines are chasing us. Take. Thanks a lot. Mm, yummy. Hey, Untik, what could happen to Dyatlov group, in your opinion? Everyone asking about this, but I don't know. Could they free to death themselves? No. Could Mansi kill them? Hey, listen. Is this a dark story, Untik? Let's run, guys. It is getting dark, but we want to reach the pass today. We are very close. There is a mountain. Yosha, what do you call it? I don't know. And the pass is right here. Yeah, over there. That's hot, guys. It is dark already. But no one knows how much we have to walk to the pass. I know. Isn't he gonna sleep now? Right there? Oh my gosh. There is no road up ahead. This snowmobile can cope with so much of load. Look around, Alex. Yeah, it's amazing. And now we can see the mountains. Going in 5 minutes. They're calling for us. The situation is critical. We have been going here all day. And we will have to walk back. That's hard. We can't stay here for night. Or we're going to be eaten by a bear or freeze to death. What should we do now? If the obelisk is closed, we should reach it. Everyone is afraid of dark now. That is very risky to stay in such misty place. The slope is dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. Hey Anton, let's go through here. This way is better. We will try to walk there. It is hard. Vadim! It is becoming windy. Is it the obelisk? No. Oh my gosh, it is not it. I thought we reached it. This place is wiped out. We've got strong wind. It's hard. That's a hell, guys! But we're going! What a hellish wind is here! Like it's going to be a blizzard! Hurry up! Vadim has hidden behind that rock. Pity you can see it. It's blizzard here. Is that it, Anton? No, it's not. We are at Dyatlov Pass, but we can't find the obelisk. Just imagine that. That is hard, guys. We cannot find the obelisk. And our guides, too. We are standing on the plateau. It's very windy here. And we cannot hide from it. We are getting nervous. 
So now we can imagine how the real Dyatlov group looked like. Like we were making a reconstruction. Yeah, and see the conditions they faced. Are you wet? Is it too bad? Yeah, why is he wet? He is all wet under this jacket. Oh my gosh. We need to find a fire right now to warm up. We have to reach it at least. Where should we go, Alex? The navigator shows that we have to walk 500 meters in that direction. There's 500 meters? Yeah, to the Dyatlov Pass. So, shall we go then? I worry. Me too. We can catch cold, bro. But all wet. And it's windy here. We should change our way a little. Look at these places with no snow. It is very windy here. And the places with much of snow are safe. There is no wind. Let's go, guys. By the way, these rocks were created by wind. So it has blown away all little parts. And only these big ones are still here. Weathering pillars. We've got a trouble. Our guys doesn't know where to go. My navigator shows on the right. But they go left. Where should it go? This snowstorm is going to kill us here. Look at this. My hands freeze right away. I can't film anything. It's so hot, guys. But we aren't going to become the second Dyatlov group, aren't we, Vadim? Let's find the road back. I don't know where is the road. I don't remember anything, Alex. Our only chance my navigator can turn off in any moment. Because of cold, let's move faster. Guys, we're in the hell of nowhere now. If only you saw yourself now. These conditions are the most severe. It is not surprising that they have died here. I can't give you the full experience, guys. The navigator says that the obelisk is right here. We could go a wrong way, relying on this navigator, you know? Where is Losha? They don't care about us, they left us. We don't know where we are going. Let's go to the point, it is right here. In about 200 meters. Over there. Let's go, 200 meters, we can do it. It's our last chance to reach it. Actually, we shouldn't go here at night. There is hot wind and wild animals. Hey, Alex. I suggest us to go down and sleep now. Otherwise, we're gonna freeze to death and it's too dangerous here. Okay, let's go. We have to go back now. Tomorrow, we'll try to find it. Alex. Guys, you will not believe it. Our guides have disappeared somewhere. And we have lost Sergei as well. How did it happen? What should we do now? We have no tent, food or sleeping bags. To be continued.